Searching isn't about what you find, it's about the experience itself. It's fun to just not care, like that almost takes you away from the reality of like, social media and everybody, you know, critiquing you. It's just not having expectations on anything. But when you expect nothing, you get everything. If you keep an open mind, you can find everything you want to. The search is never ending. Hello. 40 hours and counting. I think I travelled for like 40 hours, 50 hours or something. Hi. And then when I got here, I got on the boat and I was like, this boat is so incredibly beautiful. This place is amazing. Coming on a boat, oh, be careful of seasickness, I guess. We all got a little sick. I was just like, no, get me home. Like, I felt so seasick and it took me a couple of days to kind of readjust and like, I'm just getting, feeling fine now, but definitely didn't know that the seasick would be like it is, but it's completely worth it. It was horrible. <laughs> no. It's sometimes hard to like open up to people because like we have like the spotlight on us but like when you get to go on trips like this and like be around people that want you to be who you are. You know like they want me to like say weird stuff that, that I want to say. The water is really like memorizing. Memorizing? Yeah. Mesmerizing. Mesmerizing. Yeah. The water's really mesmerizing. I don't know how to spark. <laughs> I don't know how to spark. It's like, I don't know how to spark. Yeah, it's really memorizing. Mesmerizing. It's only been a week since you left your scented fragrance on my imagination. Now, darling, I can't sleep. Cause when I close my eyes, all I visualize is you go say it. I don't remember one day that we didn't have like a really good laugh or fun together. We were standing on the tip of the ride. We're on this amazing boat, you know, in our own little world, complaining about getting sunburned, and then and we're like, oh yeah, we'll go see this village. And then we rock up to it, and we're like, oh my god. When you stumble across something like the Indonesian Independence Day rehearsal of this tiny village in the middle of nowhere and you see how serious and how much it means to them and how much emotion goes into everything that they're doing, it takes your breath away. They literally welcomed us with open arms. Within three seconds they were just all over us, holding hands, walking down. Take up. They took us through their little village and just basically took us home. I actually was a bit taken aback by it all because, you know, I've grown up in a society where we're not meant to talk to strangers. There's so many rules. Where I grew up, we wouldn't have done that. We literally would have locked our doors, went inside and gone, hey mom, there's some weirdos out the front. You might want to call the cops, <laughs> like ASAP. One girl like latched onto me and she was pretty much bossing me around. I think she could tell I was just like in a daze or something. So give me the truth. It's actually really beautiful to have had that time spent there and met those people. And I like woke up this morning like thinking of them. Like it was a really cool experience. And I actually I don't I haven't experienced anything like that ever. You know that quite simple how they live and gosh it's so easy to be happy, isn't it? I have no 
idea what day it is. Let's just say it's Friday. It could be a Wednesday to me. I know it's like we're like. I think I left on Monday. No, third, fourth, fourth. Is it third? Fourth. Is it Thursday? Or Friday? Or Saturday? Or Wednesday? It could be Monday. Nobody likes a Monday. I think the need comes from a want to do something new, to see something new, to, to experience something new. That's the thing about searching is you, you never truly know what you're going to get. You never know what you're in for. We're in the middle of nowhere, like in the ocean, like singing as loud as we can because like we know no one's there. And that's how it should be in life because like who cares? <laughs> with your nose in the mask. I don't know, I randomly snored. It happened two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it! Okay. Ready? Yeah, I can't do it.